Welcome to Kohler Andres State Park. We are going to start with a campground tour here and then we'll take a look around and see that the state of the beaches is like at this park. There is a fairly long drive in to get to the campgrounds. On my left here is a group campground. campground. It apparently doesn't have a whole lot of parking. Just after the group campground is parking area four. Now this campground is tight in a lot of areas and I'll show you that where they actually need parking. Some places you'll need to, you can park your RV and then have to park your tow vehicle out here. They do have a camp post here. Ice is available. As well as firewood. So, something about this campground, they must have needed more sites. They have added sites along the edge of the road here. Now, each one of these sites, while you're parking on the road and sort of set off, there is a site set back from it. All right, so here's, uh, say, Site 41. It's an electric site. It is right along the road here. But you also have your campfire ring and your picnic table set back up on the hillside. We're going to start out with sites 1 through 38 coming up. Okay, pulling into sites 1 through 38, and there's also an indoor sh indoor shelter here. So I already got one on my left, two on my right. These are electric, and as you can see, the car, the tow car, is right there, kind of crammed in. We're going to go right to sites two, four through 28. Now this is a very crowded, busy campground. Lots of people out and about. Now this section of campground, well, it has some good mature trees. There's not much between the sites. There are good trees if you want hammocks though. They're perfect for that. Let's see, we're at six and seven here. And these are all electric through here. There's a little more room in this section to fit your vehicles. Now that RV ahead of us is actually in another loop. That was the back side of that site. I just passed site nine. Got a little A-frame camper on my left in site 11. 10 and 12 are jammed next to each other over here. Those two actually have cover between them as well as site 13 has good cover. You don't see your neighbors. All the ones on the inner circle, you can see your neighbors. I have the group shelter, or, oh, actually, you know, this is a laundry facility. We have a laundry facility, and there is a showers on my left. All right, let's see what section we're wandering into now. This section has fair cover between sites so you don't see your neighbors but it is still very tight I'm at 16 15 on my right 16 on my left still good trees for hammocks right all of these 17 on my right all electric 18 18 on my left 19 on my right with a pop-up and squeezing two cars in there 20 on my left got a access to a pit toilet here 21 on my left you have to get creative with how they fit your cars in here 22 on my right 24 on my left it's a nice simple pad 26 on my right 25 on my right must have done something wrong there here's 26 that was 23 and squeeze your vehicle in. I got a couple empties here right now. So 27, 28. Now these do not have cover between them. 28 is fairly large. You have plenty of room to hang out there. Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna have to come back around to finish the rest of this loop. All right, coming back in and just past sites one and two again. Three on my left. This time I'm gonna go left instead of right for 29 through 38. So again, we're starting out with wide open, no cover between your neighbors, but still some good mature trees. But these first couple sites, 29, and uh, 31 have no good shade. So I got 32 on my left, 33 on my right. Now these are big sites over here, lots of room. You can set up quite a few families in those, but it's not a lot of parking. See, we're in 36 and 35, 38 and 37. These are kind of crammed together to leave room on either side for your stuff. So the campers are crammed together, but you have room around them. Now, we're going to go back down to the entrance again. And there is a toilet right there. All right, back onto the road again. Back here on site 40 and 41, along the road. The sites I just looked at were on my left here, one through 38. Continue down a little further. We've got site 42 on my left here, on the roadway. Site 43. Now we've got a couple here, a couple families who used it, that space for tenting, and it actually looks very nice. Site 45 there, and these are electric, 46 is empty, 47, now we're in 201, big jump, 202, now there is an additional parking lot here, also for trailhead on the marsh, on the left, there's another site. We got a site just tucked on the end over here along the marsh trail. Now we're going to go into the south campground, sites 49 through 105 first. So let's see, 49 through 74 is to my right. This is going to take a couple attempts, I think. I got site 50. And 49 right away. They are here. We are along the edge of the marsh. We got another camp host here. Okay. Site 52 on my left, as well as site 54. I'm not sure who had what spot. 53 on my left. I got the cabin on my right, the handicapped cabin that overlooks the marshes. Got a trail here, 55 on my left, 56 on my right. Fifty-seven on my left. We're starting to get some cover between sites here. Fifty-eight on my right. Get a little deeper woodsy as we come down here. 60 is a handicap site. 59 goes way back. There's not a lot of room for equipment, but plenty of room to put your tents way back there. I got a sign here for sites 200s. I think that's a separate loop, but there must be a path to it. 62 on my right. I've got this big green space next to it. So uh, let's go into the 200s. We're going to go 204 through 20, whatever that was. I missed it. Let's go deep in. We are definitely in the woods now. 204 on my right, 20, 230 on my left. So I actually have sort of an entrance road here where you kind of come in and out. 205 on my right, 
back in sight. Now these are non-electric through this section. 206 on my right. It's actually fairly deep. You could fit, put, could fit equipment there. Let's take a look. 207 on my left. Fair size pad. I'm going to class C on my right in 208. 210 is over on that little side drive. 209 is an easy back in sight because you actually line up with where I am right now. I got 211 on my right with a little teardrop. These are nice little wooded sites back here. Good cover between 212 on my right, 213 on my right. I think this is my favorite part. 214 is a pretty big pad and goes way back. 215 would be an easy back in sight. 216 on my right. This is a large campground. 217 on my left, 218 on my right. We are at the edge of the loop. 219 on my right. 220 on my right. 221 on my right. Lots of hammock trees, lots of shade. 223 on my left. That was on the inner circle. 224 on my right. 225 on my right. 226 on the left. All very nicely shaded. Got some hill rolling hills in here to tuck into. Trails passing through here. Twenty-seven on my left has a big cabin tent in that one. 228 on my right is nicely tucked in, quite a deep sight. Again, no electric in this stretch. Okay, we're coming back out to that little entrance to the 200s. A little overflow parking on my right. 229 on my right with a pop-up seems about right enough room for that in this car got a teardrop and two cars on my right in 230 all right coming back out to the other loop that was the 200s now we're back out to 63 straight ahead I've got a site here where you park on the road and camp up the hill 64. And maybe you can see in the dark now. 66 and 65 on my left. Sorry if the other stuff was too dark. 67 goes way down in. The pad only goes halfway and it's not quite level. I wouldn't be able to sleep on that pad. 68 on my right. Very wooded. 9 on my left. Oh, the picnic table's on the parking pad. Now you can see here I got a tiny pop up and the vehicle barely fits in 70. That's why they have the overflow parking sometimes. 71 is deeper. 70. Two on my left, didn't have a lot of room. 74 goes forever. I have no idea where that one takes off to. That's that that that's huge. 73 on my left, not too big. I got 78 on my right. Again goes way back. 77 on my left. 79 straight ahead which is just kind of in the open there we have lost our cover between in these sites 80 you have you know they're using this parking pad and then put your tents plenty of room for your tents there's no question there's plenty of room to spread out 82 on my left 81 on my right in the woods 
So on the right is a little more wooded. Oh, well, now we're in a whole wooded section. 83 and 84. And some of these you you almost can't see your tent from your car, like down there. There's a site down there, but you park up here in 85. There's a teepee up on the hill on my right. I think you can't actually rent the teepee. Yep, rent a TP site. That's what it says. 86 is electric. We are in the electric section here for a little bit. 87 on my right. Now this is what I was saying before. We got a camper and no place to put your tow vehicle. But it's electric. Let's see. That's entrance. I can't tell what number that one is because I got too much signage on it. 103, 104 on my left is in pine, pine plantation area. Easy to put your hammocks into that. And we are coming back out. This is 105 to the entrance road. I'm going to go back and fill in the gaps. Okay, going back in to this back loop. We've already done the 200s. And we did some of this other part of 49 through 105. There are a lot of sites hiding back here. I don't know if I'm going to find my way to all of them. I'll get to as many as I can figure it out without doing too many loops. Okay, it looks like we're going to try 75 through 88 straight ahead. 75 on my left. Lots of room there. Oof. 76 on my left. These are great tent sites. These are non electric. I think I was already on that trail, but I'm not sure. Okay, 78 on my right. 77 on my left. Yeah, I think I did this trail. I try this one last time so I have learned something now when you take that path around to the right which takes you to 10 or 204 to 230 and 49 through 74 it also basically in the end of the loop ends with the 75 through 88 75 is straight to my right the rest of it is on the loop end of the other loop that's just the quick way to get to 75 through 88. Now we're gonna look at 89 through 105. These are the ones that are closer to the, closer to the road. They have good mature trees, good places for um, hammocks and things, but not a lot of cover between them. All right, these people seem to come here regularly. They all have their signage. I got the young families learning to ride their bikes on the big downhill here. 91 on my right. 92 on my left. Now it's that 92 is electric. 93 is on the right. 94 is electric on my left. Yeah, we're in electric now. 95. So these are good places for these RVs to just come in. They're not very deep. There's not really room for a trailer and a tow vehicle. So 96 on my left, 97. We are in pl pine plantation world now. 98, 99. So you can see through, but you get good cover from above and nice pine forest to stand on. 100 on my right, 102. Kind of tucked over on my right somehow. And that is the end of the loop. Well, that was a lot of sites in a short time. This campground has a lot of sites. Now, apparently, straight ahead here, there must be some berry picking because they're out there collecting berries along the uh, edge of the marsh here. Let's go see what else is out in this park. And once again, these side sites, like 40 here, don't be discouraged by those because they're along the road. They're actually some nice little sites for tents as well.
Now just past the campground and just over the hill, you are already at Lake Michigan. So I'm going to go explore the shoreline here. So if you found this video useful and my campground tour useful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, any memories from here, please leave a comment down below. The parking area behind me has barriers to keep you from getting right to the edge of the water because the water is right at the edge of the parking area. There is still a little beach here to stroll along. Not a lot, but there's still something here and it's worth checking out. Right now, there are signs everywhere up top on the dune here of no hiking. They don't want anything at this point disturbing these dunes. Anything they can do to keep that vegetation there to try to hold this shoreline. There's not much beach left along the Wisconsin side of Lake Michigan. So, So here's a good example of why you really pretty much want to stay off the dunes along the lake shore. You've got a little trail coming down here where people have obviously been, but you can see how much of that sand doesn't stay. We want to you want to protect the vegetation on the dunes to help this last as long as it can. Us walking around on it just shortens the life of these dunes. Now with that being said. There's all this day use space out here. The campgrounds are just beyond. And there's a lot of picnic tables out here. And little paths of sand taking you up. And some of the spots to actually take you to picnic tables on the top of the dune. Now before I go over that hill, if you look here, look how thick this vegetation is right here. There's good solid vegetation stay on the little paths there are don't get off of it because this vegetation needs you on the other side of that hill you see this tree here that big tree there its buddy just as big is laying in lake michigan now because the shoreline it was sitting on is gone and there's several others out there trees that big just being swallowed up by the lake along the edge of this beautiful park. There's still some beach out here to play on, but just be very careful where you come through the dunes to get to it. It can last a little longer if everybody takes their time, goes through the dunes where there already is a path. Don't make your own path through the vegetation. And come out and enjoy the bits of beach along this state park. From the campgrounds and from the south end of the parking area along the water, there's a nature trail that loops around. It's about a mile loop and it does go through the campground. So you can go from the campground right out into this trail. And it does have a few little cuts out to the water. So I just came through the little spot in the dune. Got another little section of, little section of beach here. Like I said, stay off the vegetation when you pass through the dunes and you can have your own little private spot 
but this is shifting sands. I got trees down here and there's some fresh trees down over there too. So this nature trail I'm on said so goes through the campground actually goes all the way around the back end of the two back end of the 200s so some of those sites in the back end loop of the 200s were in their nice rolling hills they also have people walking behind them on the trail so just up over that rise are some of the sites you know you can almost see some tents hiding over there on the other side are the marshes This nature trail has got a great collection of these signs to help you identify different trees. Each tree has this little tag on it so you know that is the one it is talking about. And they have a lot of different native species, species identified through this trail. So that's Kohler Andre State Park. Nice nature trails, beautiful campground amongst the woods. We're right on Lake Michigan. Take care, please be careful and stay off the vegetation on the dunes so that it can last a little longer. If you find this video useful, especially my campground tour, helping you find the right site for you, please give it a thumbs up. If you have experience with this park, you want to tell us anybody a story or comments about it or what you've seen here, put a comment down below. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel. It's free to you. It helps you find me again in the future. And it helps others find me as well. And it's the easiest way to help out. Thank you. Now for some nature videos and photos. One last thing, near closer to the entrance, there is the nature center. If you head out towards that parking lot three, there are trails that go along the dunes. These trails are on boardwalks, so you can explore. And there's also a trail that goes past the nature center down to the water. Great at beach access there. Enjoy. <laughs>